Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with the next. Super happy to get into the next episode of One Piece. Unfortunately, I am a little sad that as I saw this morning, it's a filler. It's a recap episode. It's not even a filler episode. It's an actual recap episode. One Piece does these from time to time, basically to get people remembering exactly what's happened over the last 30 plus to 60 right episodes whereas most some anime don't even last that long and one key piece needs to remind you what's going on it really doesn't i think most people know what's going down however i understand we're gonna watch this week mostly because it's a Barto otama one and i saw that in the description otherwise i really don't like doing these i feel like they're they're worse than filler episodes and that they don't add any new content it really is just super flashbacky and meh but we're gonna do it because it was the episode that came out on christmas it's the christmas one piece episode we gotta watch the christmas one piece episode if it doesn't have some christmas theming i'm actually gonna be quite disappointed but we're gonna see how that goes you know it's 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 up to them not up to me whether or not there's going to be theming so we're just gonna have to see with that said thank you everybody who is watching and i hope you enjoy remember support the original content creator because without them we wouldn't get all of this great content and if you enjoyed watching with us you can come check us out on sundays live on twitch where we react with friends on the chat and you know all that great stuff or you can check it out a week later on youtube or if you really want you could be a patron and you can check out all of our content past present and future for as low as a dollar a month with none of the edits we have to do to youtube Shh, don't tell anybody it's a secret okay but yeah you can definitely do that if you'd like with that said i don't want to drag on we try to make sure these intros aren't more than two minutes and uh if you want to come and talk to me about this episode or about any of the shows we want you want to make suggestions hit the comments check our discord which is linked below and we will have an absolute blast chatting with you. But till then, let's do this. He really is the best voice actor for that part. They they made him Bartolomeo and it was absolutely a great pick. There's like no doubt in my head. That's right, because Barto hasn't seen him since uh, he dropped him off in Zhao. I also thought about it, that's why he only has five of the signatures, because not everybody was there on, uh, in Dress Rosa. At the end there, when he was there. That is the weirdest fucking backhand ever, though. I swear to God, bro. Also, wrecked. Yeah, this is a pretty dope one. He clogged him right in the... <laughs> but here's the thing people also tend to forget. is like, it showed a scaling power level. Because, remember, he had beaten Horty with that one move. And Horty was the boss of his... Um, I mean, he beat him with a bunch of other grab Magnum and other stuff too. But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> He was having to use the same moves that he used to use on bigger fish for these smaller guys. <laughs> it's cool because it's having Barto be able to look and see and comment. He's not just like hearing the story, he's watching the show. That's pretty dope. It's not that bad. Honestly, as far as flashbacks go, it's still a flashback, but you know. What you gonna do, man? The whole episode's a flashback. I could have just skipped it. I can't complain about it now. That's cool. They got the fucking... They, I think they might have done some of the art again for this stuff, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Look how different Kaido looks there than he. I think he did originally. He looks different, I think. They're drawing him a little more fierce with his beard and stuff, I think. If only his legs had gotten some work. Oh, God. This was still the litest. Like, seeing this in the manga for the first time was like... Like, and it shouldn't be. At this point, we should recognize that Oda knows how to tell a story and make us surprised. We knew this should have been coming. Like, we all knew he was going to lose to Kaido here, right? What we didn't think was that he was going to legit get one clapped, boys. Those who get in Senpai's way should be left. 
Okay, this episode's worth it just for the Barto commentary. I don't care what nobody says, bro. He is indeed. Oh, you, this, is, this is great. Kick to the mm, face. <laughs> I don't care if my hands like that. You can catch these feet, boy. There's still that many enemies. I like the ball dangling right above my head. And I lost the thing, so. Then it was Kawamatsu the Kappa, one of my, one, I swear, even though they're not always visually the most, like, what you would think of them, I love a lot of the characters introduced in Wama, so many of them, Kawamatsu was one, Kikunojo, uh, Yama, Yama, Yamamoto, uh, Yamato, not Yamamoto. And I can't wait to get burned. I love Barto. He makes the re they should do every recap episode with Barto from now on. Period. He makes them fun to watch because his excitement is, you know what I mean, so epic and just so much like a fanboy, right? He's just such a the perfect fanboy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. That was a huge buff in power to the team, bro. You gotta remember when Jim Boy when Jim Boy joined, his his uh, bounty was still higher than Zoro and Sanji. Not saying he's stronger, maybe maybe not, but but then as always. This dude is a carrot. Cause he got straight planted. Oof. She says that she literally plants this man like a carrot in the ground. They didn't show the scene, but it's such a good one. And down goes Ulti. Oh, she looks so sad, unconscious. <laughs> and there is, uh, there he is. I'm getting there. I'm telling you, there he is in the flesh. I really gotta say though, they spoiled it so. It's there's some things in the anime that can't be as well done that the manga did, and that was one of those scenes because of the voice of Yamato. It gave it away that Yamato was, you know. His heart is as big as the grand line. Oof. <laughs> Had to do the, the music too, the sound. Also had to rip off the sleeves, really? The op okay. That was one of my favorite parts is they're stretching the fucking board down. There's still a couple more scenes I need to see, I think, before where I think we're going. Ooh, that scene was clean in episode 1000, you gotta admit. All they had to do was throw in a fucking colored filter. What the hell? Damn, what was that? That was pretty cool, too. Is that it? Yep. That's it for today, alright. Uh, <laughs> look at this dumbass. <laughs> bye bye the way all right all right all right i got to admit guys i have to admit not bad personally i don't think it was bad at all i am usually not very much a fan of flashbacks but i gotta say having bartolomeo in uh otama 
narrated and react to it kind of really upped the value of viewership again for me and made it reviewable if that makes sense because usually i'm just you know he's like i've seen this and i've personally gone back and watched it right like i don't know about you guys but i'll go and watch these sometimes when i'm just like forgetting what's happening or wanting to watch one piece and not be on the reaction channel so i'll go back and watch old episodes so i've seen a lot of them multiple times with that said guys uh, i want to thank you guys so much <laughs> i'm getting booped on discord Uh, but yeah, it, it's definitely been a great couple episodes. As always, if you enjoyed, sorry, a couple episodes. It was a great episode, honestly, for a flashback episode. And, you know, it has all those episodes jammed in. I think it got some pretty good fun pieces and told the story in an effective way. If you enjoyed watching with us, you know, as always, you can check us out live on Twitch Sundays at uh, 3D Reactions with the next. Or you can check out our YouTube where you can see all of our content with some of the edits. And if you really wanted, for as low as a dollar a month, you can support us and get access to all of the content that we put on YouTube or here with none of the cuts that we have to do. No audio cuts, full episodes, full commentary. Uh, you know, I don't have to cut out any of the weird controversial dumb sh I say. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, and uh, we really do appreciate you guys. Remember to support the, that original content creator because without your chair Oda the Go to the God, we wouldn't get this amazing series. Even though there are sometimes less than stellar episodes. Like I said, this one's pretty good, but it is still a flashback episode. We all know that we wanted something maybe a little more for Christmas, for the Christmas episode of One Piece. And I think that's what bothered me, is there was no Christmas references. I know it's Japan and they don't have, right? Like, there's no need to. Plus, they make these in advance and, like, you may, trying to time it exactly with, with all the schedule delays is hard. But damn it if I don't want a Christmas One Piece episode. Anyway, uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time on Reactions with an X, One Piece.